Hi guys, welcome back. So I wanted to make this school wash recipe for you guys. Um, the last vlog, the video was like long enough anyways, but we didn't end up making it that night. So I'm going to share with you guys how to make it. It's super easy. It's almost like making baked spaghetti like I do it the same way pretty much, but we're just going to be using some elbow macaroni. Um, and this might technically not be the actual way to make goulash. Um, I think it's like a South thing. I'm not sure if any of you guys are from the South. Let me know. But I think there's actually an actual way. My husband is the one that calls it this. He's always just called it that. But I don't think it means like it's the actual thing. If that makes sense. But it's basically just going to be like a pasta bake with some cheese, pepperoni, some pasta sauce, some hamburger. We're going to do an onion, of course, because I love onion. And maybe some seasonings as well and some garlic. But super easy. Really good. And we're going to bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. So the first thing that we're doing. Um, also... I had to go pick Cole up early today because there's a stomach bug going around in school. Cole was throwing up. So he just threw up for the first time since being home. I went and picked him up at noon and it's now 4 and he got sick. So we had a bucket. My husband put the bucket just in time and yeah. So I thought I better get out here and make this food before I get sick because I figure we probably done caught it. We just ain't gotten sick yet because yesterday when Cole got home from school, he was probably already infected. And then this morning is when he, I don't really know when he got sick at school, but I knew something was wrong with him this morning, but I wasn't really sure. He just wasn't acting right. So he was already sick 24 hours later. So it's probably going to hit us in a little bit. So I don't know, or tonight. So I'm not looking forward to that, guys. I'm just getting over my cold, and now I'm going to be sick with a stomach bug. That's what I don't like about school. So I like to use Bertoli. Um, this is a tomato and basil. It's really good. I'm going to use a store-bought sauce. And I'm going to sweeten it a little bit because sometimes the sauce is from the store in my... It's just the way that however you prefer it. Um, you might not prefer like a sweeter sauce, but I kind of like that, and my husband does. So... Sometimes they're a little bitter. Um, I got my water. It's going to boil here for the pasta. So we're going to get that boiled. We're going to cook our hamburger. I got ground chuck today. So we're going to do that with our onion and garlic and seasonings. And I'll tell you guys which seasonings I use. But it's almost just like I'm making spaghetti. But it's just like a little bit different. But not much. And I bought mozzarella cheese this time. Because it's a little on the lower fat end. So it's a little healthier than those other cheeses. But... Got some garlic powder, onion powder, um, I love using this anytime I do like Italian dishes, I just think it gives it that little extra kick of a different flavor, um, and it, it's really good in my opinion, so a little Italian seasoning, and then you want to use some kind of um, Seasoned salt is really good, but I don't have any of that right now. So what I'm going to just use is regular pink salt because that's what I have is Himalayan pink salt and then some pepper. So those are really the only seasonings that I'm going to be using. Super easy. And I'm going to go ahead and dice up that onion. Phone's always ringing outside, this the cold wind inside the monotony. Baby, we need an exit from this. Honey, we need the sweet release. I know it will feel from the. So, you want to set your oven to 350. And while the meat is finishing cooking, you can take another little pot if you want for your sauce and go ahead and get that heated and mixed up that way. If you want to do it that way, you don't have to do it this way. You could just 
dump everything into one pot and do it. Sweeten it that way if you want to. It doesn't really matter, but sometimes it's a little easier just to do the sauce by itself. A trick to get it all out, just put a little water in here, put this on and shake it up and it'll get all the sauce out. I don't really know exactly how much brown sugar to tell you guys because I just kind of do it to my liking. So just do that. buy sweet onions but they're a little bit more expensive than the yellow ones and I bought yellow this time and man not only did I almost feel like my eyes were gonna burn out but they had like the little almost like they just I don't know they just weren't good they just weren't very good onions so I'm a little disappointed about that because I bought a whole freaking bag all right so our meat is about done we're gonna drain off the grease and then my sauce is back here. We're going to stir that up. I just put the sugar in it. So we're going to stir it, and then you just want to taste test it to see if it's sweet enough, if you like it sweet. If not, you really don't even have to do this step if you don't want to. Okay, so you can layer this. I got my casserole dish here if you want to. The other option is to dump everything in the same pot, stir it up, and then put it in the dish and bake it. Um however you want to do it if you want to layer it I would do sauce on the bottom first then your um, I guess it doesn't really matter how you do it the noodles next but I'm not gonna do it that way I don't think I think I'm just gonna mix everything up I'm still gonna kind of layer because I want the cheese to be in the middle of it too Gonna take this off in a little bit and spray some shout on it because I'm really really praying that it doesn't stain it because I love this shirt. Don't do what I just did. So just take half of it and pour that in. Kind of spread it out. And then what we're gonna do. We're going to take some of these pepperonis and we're going to put them over the top. Electric feelings, you and me all night, yeah, be alright. If you close your eyes, you close your eyes, feel the sunlight, baby, we'll fly. To my dreams. We're gonna take some cheese. We're gonna put some cheese over it. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, this is almost like pizza pasta, babe. Maybe that's what it should be called. Pizza pasta. <sighs> Living, so it 
in time, but we pointed out that tomorrow isn't here right now, baby. An absent mind came to roam around, captured you in a foggy cloud, baby. Standing on my toes on the edge, I'm ready to go. I see it clear when the shadows are lit, I'm ready to go. yesterday as you guys saw and I can't remember yeah I did tell you guys yesterday that Cole had the stomach bug yesterday well I think we're starting to get it now because I started feeling funny um we got home all ago we took a little drive out today Cole took a really good nap he was exhausted because he was up a few times last night um, he didn't get sick, but he was, like, up in the middle of the night a few times, like, he couldn't sleep, and I don't really know if he just, he probably just didn't feel good, plus he hasn't ate a whole bunch either. Um, we give him, like, a bunch of options to eat today, and he hasn't ate much, so I'm assuming that he's still not feeling good. A while ago, he was, like, um, about to throw up, but nothing would come up, so I had to, like, hold him so he could lean over the his little bucket that we have for him and nothing happened but he was crying and he normally does that before he throws up and he like it's super sad guys like it makes me feel so bad um I hate seeing Cole sick um it's hard to see anything wrong with your child um but when we was outside a while ago me and Cole went out because he was feeling really good and he wanted a popsicle so we went outside we tried to walk a little bit, and then all of a sudden I got hit with like this, what normally happens to me when I get sick, is that I'll start feeling kind of like this lightheaded feeling. Um, kind of like when you're about to get a fever. Like, I just started feeling unwell. So, that's been going on for the last few hours. I have not thrown up, I have not used the bathroom, but I'm starting to feel bad. So, I know that it's it's just a matter of time probably in the middle of the night which is normally what happens to me so then I'll be sleep deprived and <laughs> it's just gonna be great <laughs> and my nose is like all probably from being outside a while ago stuffy and stuff now but also kinda like phlegm I got the phlegm going on still it just won't leave it's been a rough week um, I vlogged goulash for you guys yesterday want to just fill you guys in on this video <coughs> a little bit because now I'm probably going to be sick tomorrow um, I got the party prep video done for you guys I think I'm going to upload it for Sunday's video because I did not get to film a main like cleaning video this week um, we're actually going to be doing the laundry room next week so I'm super excited as long as everything goes well nobody's sick and we can get back on track and everything me and my husband are gonna go and there's a couple of things that 
um, I decided that I wanted to do in there because I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do, but I think now I've definitely decided on something that I thought would be fun and different. And it's a little bit out of my comfort zone because I've never worked with it before, but I'm going to get some wallpaper. And I'm going to do one wall in the laundry room of shiplap wallpaper. Um, I think it looks cute. I mean, we're going to have to see what they have in stock or I'll have to order it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, if Maybe I'll just end up ordering it so that way we don't even have to, you know... It just depends, guys. Like, So I'm just going to sit here for a minute and talk to you guys because I wanted to just kind of... Um, Make this video kind of short. I don't know how much footage I got of me cooking dinner yesterday, but I wanted to like share that, give you guys a cooking idea, and then I just felt like coming on and talking to you guys because I think I'm about to, we're about to be ill again. So I don't know how much filming or like stuff I'm going to get done in the next few days. But the good news is, is that you will see a video on Sunday and you'll see this video. So I guess I did okay, but... Um, <coughs> my friend Tammy here on YouTube, um, was how I met her through YouTube. Um, she messaged me and said that she got something made for me. Um, I'm assuming it's, it's like to do with poos. So I'm really excited to see what she got made. It was super sweet of you, Tammy, to do that. You did not have to do that. Um, she also bought me the O Cedar um, spray mop. I don't think I've mentioned that on here because I had forgot, but I was using it the day of the party prep on my hardwood floor, and I absolutely love it. Love it. I've been using it in my bathrooms, and it's really, really nice. It's better than the Swiffer Wet Jet, in my opinion. I just like it because it's a trigger squeeze, there's no batteries involved, super simple to use, and you can rewash the pads so you don't have to keep buying pads and wasting more money. You can just reuse it, um, which is also nice. So thank you so much, Tammy, um, for everything that you do for me. I really appreciate you so much. And I wanted to come on and tell you that. And I know like I wrote you and told you that I appreciate you, but you just you really don't know. Like, um, it's really nice to have somebody like you that cares and um, a lot of you guys do one here not just her but like a lot of you guys thank you very much guys for being um, there and sharing your stories and um, about loss and just being comforting in a time that I really needed the most and um, if you guys ever need anything um, please reach out to me and I will also listen to you guys and I will do my best. I'm not a very good, I just want to say this because I feel like <coughs> um, I am the type of person, I'm a very good listener. I'm very good at that. Like, I'm a very good listener. Um, I'll listen to you, you your story, you ranting. Um, however, I am not the best advice at giver. I'm not the best at giving advice. But if it's something that, you know, I think that maybe I'd be able to, like, try to give some advice to somebody, then I will. But if anything, if any of you guys, like, need some support, you guys, please come over to my channel and you can leave a comment. Or you can also just personally message me if you want to, if it's maybe something I have an experience with. And then maybe we can um, talk and just relate. Um, it's always nice to have friends because I know sometimes not everybody has friends. And I love this about YouTube is that I'm be able to like branch out and meet new people and meet you guys that have been so supportive of me and being my friend. So I appreciate you guys so very much. And it's been a really hard week, honestly. All of us are sick. Like we still have this cold. Now we have a stomach virus. <laughs> it's coming for me and my husband. Cole, I think by tomorrow, Cole will probably be over it, which is good. I'm glad that he's like, will be done with it. But I'm also kind of scared because I don't know if any of you other moms feel this way, but it is awful whenever you are sick with a young child. Because if it's like I am fully prepared 100% to take care of my child when he is sick, but I get scared to death. 
whenever he is sick or if I am also sick because whenever I am throwing up or constantly like say if I'm using the bathroom whatever it is I'm scared and I'm just glad my husband is here because I feel like when I am so sick that I'm throwing up that I have to lay down on the floor about to pass out um, the thought of me not being able to be there for my child and taking care of him and being there for him just scares me to death and I've always had that like fear sounds kind of dumb but I've always had this fear of if something ever happens and I just like say if I like blacked out and my husband was at work who would take care of Cole like he'd be here scared by himself and that freaks me the freak out guys like I can't even wrap my head around that so <laughs> Um, yeah, it is hard as a mother having a small kid like Cole's age and even when he was littler, like, and I got sick and it was just really hard for me and I'm just glad that my husband is here to help me because if I didn't have him, I don't know what I would do because it's hard as a parent. So any of you guys that are single parents out there with small kids, I feel for you and um, it is freaking tough. I don't know because whenever I'm throwing up, I can't do anything. I cannot, I can't. I can barely take care of myself. How am I going to take care of somebody else? It's really scary. So, this has turned into a really long rant. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind, but I just wanted to talk for a little bit. Um, it feels strange in our home that Poos is gone. It's been a change, and I'm a Capricorn, and I don't know if any of you guys believe in, like, horoscopes or any of that kind of stuff but that's what my sign is and my sign doesn't like change and I I never have as, as a person it just it depends on what it is like you guys know I'm a moving the room around fanatic I love to move furniture and I love making a change in certain things that gets me really excited and kind of refreshes me but when it comes to like life events I don't really do well with that um and I think, you know, a lot of that stimulates also as um, probably why I had such a hard time after I had Cole. Um, it's because it was a life change. And I just, it takes me a while before I can warm up to change and accept change. I'm just, for whatever reason, I don't do well with that. I don't know what it is, but also I really miss Poos. Um... I think Yellow is still kind of looking for him every now and then, but just because they were just buddies, you know, they've always been together. And I don't really think Otis notices anything or the the outside cat. Um, I got to tell you guys about that too here in a second, but um, about the outside cat. But <coughs> you guys can leave your comments. Um, do you guys do well with change? I just don't. Um, when someone passes away or that I'm really close to, or like in my case, an animal, it just, it feels funny, you know, not having poos anymore. And there were so many things about poos that I, uh, I just knew everything about that cat, you know, and his personality. Every animal has a different personality, just like we humans do. And he had his own, you know, unique personality. And there was just certain things about him that I think about, um, that I miss. Um, I think like the biggest thing that I miss is his 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 really big green eyes. Um, because he just had a way of looking at you almost like he could communicate through his eyes. That might sound weird, but his eyes told a story like or told like the way that he was feeling or like what he wanted you could just look at him and tell what he wanted like type of cat I don't know his eyes were just really big and they were so pretty they were like the prettiest green eyes um and he was honestly just the prettiest cat too but I miss like I can still like feel how soft his fur was because it was just like really silky he had like the silkiest fur Compared to my other animals, don't have hair like he did. His hair was different. Um, I actually got poos with my mom when me and my husband was moving into our first house together, um, which would have been in like 2013, 
I believe is when that was. It was either 2013 or 2014. I can't remember. That's how bad I need to go back and do further research because it was a long time ago now, you know. But I got him from these Amish people that actually saved my life one day because I had a flat tire. I told this story on my channel. It's a really old video. Um, if you guys get bored and want to maybe go back and watch like a really old video of mine, I made a, st um, a story experience talking about my flat tire experience. But anyways, th those people saved my life that day that I had a flat tire. And those are the same people that I got poos off of. It was just like, is that, isn't that weird? Like it was like they were meant to like help me, you know? But um, they were such sweet people and... I'll just never forget that, but that's where Poos came from. They had a litter of kittens there. There was a sign along the road, and me and my mom stopped down there, and there was a bunch of kittens. Um, I actually wasn't going to pick Poos. I was going to pick a all-black cat, and because I thought it would be cool to have an all-black cat, you know, like a Halloween cat. But then I saw Poos. Poos was by himself away from all the other kittens because all the other kittens were playing together and Poos was over in the flower bed kind of just off being a loner and I went over to him and something just instantly like I was attract attracted to him and I wanted I wanted Poos so I chose him and I just I just I don't know because I almost didn't choose him but I'm so happy that I did because um he was like really my me and my husband's first cat, so he kind of symbolizes the start of our relationship. Really, um, he was our first pet together, and he was the start of our like family. So he was a very special cat um, to me. And Sorry guys, I actually didn't plan on crying during this video, so <laughs> damn. I'm gonna see that. I know it's like it'll get a little easier, I guess. I don't even know if that's the right word because but I'm always going to miss him, like really bad. I'm always going to think about him and the what ifs always play in my mind, you know, like what if, you know, I would have chose differently and could have saved him and he could have lived like another nine years. Um, that's always in the back of my head, but I'm really trying to be more accepting and not so hard on myself about that because a lot of people were telling me and my husband and even our local vet told us that we did the right thing, but at the same time, I just don't know why I don't feel at ease with that just because I just miss that cat so much and I wish I would have tried maybe harder to save him because he meant a lot to me um, and my husband too but yeah um, so real quick I'm going to end off this video thank you guys for listening to me rant about our depressing week um, but I just you know me I want to be honest and real with you guys and I'm never going to come on camera and fake anything. I'm never going to come on here and be somebody I'm not. Um, and I just want you guys to know what was going on. But I wanted to tell you guys real quick before I end this off about the outside cat now. So we took the outside cat to the vet the other day for the first time. And we found out that it is a female. We, all this time me and my husband thought it was a male. We're really bad at guessing cats' genders. <laughs> Um, because Lucy, if you guys remember, was a male, and we always thought it was a female until we took it to the vet and found out, um, it's a male. <laughs> so, Lucy was a boy, and the outside cat, my husband started calling Leroy, is a girl. So now we renamed her, her name is Frankie, 
she is the hatefulest little grumpy cat ever <laughs> but she is a very pretty cat like as far as her hair she's a long haired cat um I'll show you guys more clips of her in the upcoming videos but she's just now starting to let me kind of pet her a little bit she don't really like to be petted I don't really she's got some trust issues I don't really know where she came from we don't know where she came from but we found out that she's not fixed so that's happening in the next week because we do not want kittens <laughs> but she doesn't leave the porch like she stays on the porch sleeps most of the time I did take her out a little mouse the other day and see if she'd play with it a little bit she did really like it like it seemed to wake her up because it had catnip in it and she was kinda like checking it out you know and I think she liked it but she's just her personality is very like standoffish and um She's just a grumpy old thing. I don't know. She's just very like cat every like I said, every cat's personality is different and my cat that I had at home, Chase, I don't know if you guys remember him, but he was very, very testy. You had to be people, like especially strangers, had to be very careful around Chase. He was kind of a meanie. He was never mean to me, but he got my mom good one day when she brought a stranger over to the house. And I mean, he clawed her legs up, and it was a mess. But I'm gonna go because the battery's going dead. Thank you guys for listening. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.